Hi guys, this is Tam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a flip through of my December daily. Um, I just basically did, you know, pictures and wrote uh, whatever we were doing during the month of December. It was my intention to upload some videos, some process videos in this uh, journal, but I just never got around to it. So I know initially I told you guys that I was going to try to do a few of those, but I just never got around to doing it. So I did want to jump on here really fast and do a flip through of uh, the month of December for 2018. And um, again, basically it's just whatever was going on that day. Some days were um, activity field. Some days were just, you know, sitting around the house. So um, if you want to see what this looked like before I started journaling in it, you can scroll down to video number 43 and it'll give you a look um, inside of it, what it looked like before, um, like right after I did it and put it together. And it'll show you the mechanics, like, you know, how I put it together and things like that. But this is what it looks like on the back, just plain, the spine. And my spine is actually coming apart because it is really, really full. So um, I'm going to have to figure out something to do to kind of um, get that to reinforce. So I may look into getting some um, large Christmas washi tape or something like that, or I don't even know. But the integrity of it has been compromised because it is so full and it got really chunky really fast. So that's one thing I am learning about me. I will fill a journal. So I mean, I really need to make them bigger for myself because I do a lot of writing. So here off to the side is a little bitty uh, candy cane that actually came glued to the front of a Christmas card I received from one of my subscribers, um, Layla. So I may try to glue this in here at some point as we flip through and see if there is a blank spot anywhere. So on the front, there's just a gold dove here and a little um, wishing you peace for the holidays with some lace, some music paper and all of that. So we'll go ahead and get started. Now on the inside cover, I glued a Christmas card. There is a little um, sticker. It's like a snowflake and I spelled out the words Mary with some um, what do you call it? Some metallic, um, alphabet letters. And on the inside of the car, I just put a picture of me and my sweet husband there. And that's just the inside of the car the way it came. And I left that just like that. So initially when I started doing my December daily, I was following a prompt list, but, um, that quickly went out the window. I think I did maybe two or three days of the prompt before it just didn't I couldn't get it to fit my circumstances and so I just ended up going with snapping a picture and then journaling about what we did that day so this is a calendar for the month of December and there is a pocket behind it which is where I had those journal uh, those journaling prompts but I ended up not following them so I just took that out and I glued a little snowflake up there and so this is day one. That's just a picture of me, wild hair and all. And I did some stamping, put some stickers down, and I did a little journaling on a card that I uh, slipped inside a little tuck spot there. And um, most of my days are stamped out with um, a circle punch as the uh, background. And I did lace um, some trim on the side here. Day two, a flip out with uh, some um, Christmas wrapping paper, and I spelled out the word love there, a couple of my boys, some washi tape, and another one of those um, snowflake stickers, and I did some journaling, and that's a picture of our front door. That's one thing I tried to do was take a picture every day, so um, no matter what it was, I tried to get a picture in here. There are a couple of days that I didn't take a picture. And some days it's just a picture of me, my husband, or one of the kids. So it's nothing elaborate. There are a couple of pictures of the kids right there. So day three, there's another picture of me and my husband. I did some journaling 
um, took a picture of a candle. I think the journaling prompt for this day was something about candles. So I had some candle uh, stickers that I glued, well actually um, stuck onto the page and I took a picture of a candle up in our bedroom and I stuck that down as well. This is um, a picture I took of all the kids on Christmas Day. So it's we're a blended family for those who don't know. So there are seven children all together. And um, it's rare that all of them are together at the same time. So I made sure I uh, snapped a few pictures of them on Christmas Day, all seven of them together. And on this page, I think the, the um, prompt was about cookies. We hadn't done any cookies by day four, so <laughs> that did not fit. And I just journaled about that on the back of this card, how we haven't made any cookies. So... And that's when I kind of realized the journaling prompts were not going to fit um, my lifestyle. So if we aren't already making cookies, I want, you know, I wasn't going to run out to the store and buy cookies to make them just for this journaling entry. So there's a wreath up there. I cut it from a magazine and I took a picture of some cookies we did have at the house. I didn't bake those. That's just one of those tin can uh, Christmas cookies. We like those. I didn't bake any this year or last year for Christmas, and just a couple of pictures of us down there. This is a Christmas card on the back of it. There's a picture, and this is, um, I believe this is still, I don't believe this, so you'll see, like, as I flip through, there are some um, pages that don't have a date on them, so sometimes I just went through here, and randomly, as it began to fill up, I just filled some spaces with photos and things like that. So that's a picture of me and my husband on Christmas Day. So even though we're only technically on day number five, I went back and kind of filled some um, empty spaces with some photos and things like that. There are three of my boys down there. That's my little one, and that's my little one and my husband in the store. So I glued that down in there. Um, this is day five. We took our, um, I think the prompt for this day was about books. And so I just wrote about um, the book that I was actually creating, not necessarily reading. So I try to write every day in my journal. So that's what I talked about on this particular day and took a couple of pictures of my husband and my toddler. And on day six, my husband actually um, installed our new stove. So I wrote about that, glued some uh, images down, and I stamped out day six. And there is some trim on the side with lots of washi tape. And this is day seven. The prompt on this day was the letter S. So I wrote about me and my oldest sister. She came into town to visit, and I just journaled about it up here and a picture of the two of us together. And that's day number seven up there. Day number eight, um, I took a picture, and this is where I kind of veered off. I was no longer following the prompts around day number eight. I took a picture of the Christmas tree in the lobby of my job, and I journal about it down here. I stuck a little um, um, chip, not chipboard, um, uh, a little um, die cut piece down here, and just stamped day number eight up there. And this is me and my husband again. I love this picture of us. Um, beautiful love. I put a sticker there and there's some trim there, kind of like ribbon. You'll see a lot of ribbon um, used as trim in here. There's some glitter washi tape and I wrote out, um, well I lettered out the word Mary up there and this is a flip. So on the back is day um, nine and I talked about my husband, how we spent some time together on that day and this is a picture of the kids on Christmas Day actually so it wasn't day nine but I went ahead and put I filled a gap because this was a, a empty envelope so I just glued a picture of the kids down and I did some stamping and this is an envelope on the inside of it I just stuck some pictures from Christmas Day in there this is a picture of my uh, toddler he went to a doctor's appointment and this is day 10 I journal about it there his annual checkup and this is just a tag I stuck down with lots of washi. Here's some more ribbon trim, and that's me with him at the doctor's office. And I did some stamping and um, a sticker. And I love these big old stamps I got from the dollar store. And there is some glitter uh, blue trim down there. And just a little... Uh, 
I, I, I stapled a little circle on the end of the page just for flipping purposes. And I have a tag in here where it's actually a picture of me on Christmas Day. I just pretty much um, either put on some big comfy pajamas or something on Christmas Day. We don't usually go anywhere and don't usually have co uh, company. So I usually just try to be as comfortable as I can, knowing that day we're going to be lounging around and just, you know, eating and having a good time. So I don't get dressed up for Christmas Day. Um, the twins' birthday in the midst of our seven children, there is a set of twins, and it's boy girl, boy girl twins, and their birthday is also on the 10th, so I did a two-page spread about them and did some little journaling. They turned 10 years old, and I put some fabric uh, trim down at the bottom with lots of washi, and so um, that's what happened on that day, and this is um, some gaps I filled. So on and did some journaling on the back of here. There are two of my boys. They are acting like they are in misery. <laughs> I don't know why they do that, but some pictures they just refuse to smile. I'll take them anyway. You can smile, not smile. I'm going to take this picture. So here is also a picture from uh, Christmas Day. All the kids are sitting around the table laughing and talking and I put some uh, chipboard pieces on here from an advent kit that I had from illustrating uh, illustrated faith and this is another little um, cardboard not cardboard um, paper pad piece that I just used as a flip did some journaling here on day 11 I talked about how I semi wrecked my car I actually was backing up and my door was partially opened and I ended up snatching off a piece of my um, side paneling. So I'm waiting on some clips steel to come in to affix that back to the side of my car. And I stamped day 11 up there and I took a picture of myself in my little crafting area. Today is full of possibilities and I spelled out the word winter with some um, alphabet uh, stickers. And I glued um, some fabric uh, trim down there with some stickers and that came in a happy mail package that I got this is day 12 and that's me and two of my boys at my crafting table and that's some journaling I did right there on that uh, flip card um, day 13 that's my youngest son he was put back on the nebulizer I did some journaling on this card stuck it in there and stuck a little sticker down there seasons greetings this is day 14. This is actually the day my sister came into town for a football game. Alcorn State was playing somebody here, and she came into town, and so I did a, a two-page spread. We took her out to dinner and um, took a picture of me, her, the boys, and my husband and all of us. We went to a, um, a buffet place. This is day 15. Me and two of the boys, we went out to run errands. I did some journaling on the back of this little tag and stuck it in there. So um, in the process of running errands, we stopped and got some lunch. And so I just um, snapped some photos of them sitting out there. One thing I can say about the December Daily is that it um, motivates you to take pictures. I have never taken so many pictures before in a long time. I used to be an avid picker, uh, picture uh, taker, but then it just kind of faded out. But when I was doing this December daily, it really motivated me to take a lot of pictures. So that was good. And um, the kids, the husband, everybody likes to look through this um, December daily journal. And so it's really encouraged me to take more pictures, to do more journaling so they can all look through it and flip back, you know, to see themselves and the family and things like that. December uh, 16th, I did some um um, washi tape and this is the day I washed my hair and my toddler's hair so I just uh, did some journaling on this little card and I stuck it down in there underneath that tag and this was day 16 uh, day 17 is actually a picture my husband took of me standing in my craft area and I did some journaling um, on this card and I slipped it in the back and that's a picture of the husband 
and that's day 17. And I put you are beautiful here because I actually think I am not beautiful on this picture, <laughs> but he thinks I am. And so I just wrote about, you know, um, the differences between men and women and how us women, we try so hard to look a certain way. But when someone really loves you, it's really not about what you have on. They love you for who you are. And so in this picture, I just threw on my house dress and had on some flip-flops walking around and he thought I was beautiful and he wanted to take a picture so that's so sweet so I journaled about that on day 18 I did not take a picture so I wrote about the uh, true meaning of Christmas to me and my family and um, I put a fabric pocket here and this uh, fabric piece actually came in the mail a uh, happy mail package from one of my uh, subscribers she sent me a Christmas card I, no, she sent a journaling card, a journaling card, and I, um, she included this fabric piece in there. So I glued this uh, down as a pocket on this page and talked about, you know, how Christmas uh, to me and my family represents the birth of Jesus Christ and the gift of salvation. And I stamped 18 up there. This is um, just filling a gap, so there's no date on that. I talked about how my toddler is trying to gouge my eyes out and how um, funny, it, he's so funny, how funny he is. He wants to doctor on people, stick his little finger in your eye. This is also a gap page. I took a picture of me and my husband on Christmas Day, and I glued, um, well, I stuck some stickers down. I went around it with some um, white gel pen. And I think he's so handsome on that picture with his glasses on, which he needs to wear all the time, but doesn't. This is day number 19. And um, I actually cooked some chicken pot pie. And um, I wrote the recipe on the back of it on this journaling card that I stuck down in this little uh, pocket here. And um, did some little stickers and I um, stuck the word fabulous there. So some days it's not elaborate some days it's just regular we're doing our day-to-day -day stuff this is day 20 and i took a picture of all the christmas stockings hung by the chimney and a picture of two of my boys down there and i uh, did a little uh, fabric trim this is a picture of our christmas tree some gifts that are under it you can see a photo bomb of my toddler which is in the dining area, which overlooks our den, which is where our Christmas tree is located. So that's a picture of um, the tree, but he is in the background photo bombing that. So that's so cute. And this is a flip out, another picture of all the kids on Christmas Day. So I tried to put that in there a few times. Um, and on this day, um, I'm filling gaps here, I think. Because I don't have a date on it. So I just filled the gap with some pictures of me and my husband. Um, a coffee cup that I purchased uh, when we were out um, doing some uh, last minute Christmas shopping. And this is day 21. And that's my little one eating candy canes off the Christmas tree. And guys, I got to tell you, those candy canes on that Christmas tree are at least 10 years old. We reuse the same candy canes every year because they're not meant to be eaten. They're meant for decoration. So <laughs> he stole one of them off the tree and he was eating it. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So day 21 and a little sticker down here that actually came in a Happy Mail package. And that's the two of us there, me and my little one and another uh, sticker there. And I did some journaling. This is day 22, Love Joy with a little... Um, tag there and I did this as a flip out and there's a coloring page there and my husband he's loading up some wood um, well unloading some wood in the back of the house because it started to get a little chilly so we did burn our fireplace for a few days and this is a little journaling card I stuck down in this little pocket put a little bling there with some um, gold washi tape that was day 22 Day 23, we're still doing some uh, last-minute Christmas shopping. I stuck down our shopping list. I put some lace, some trim, some washi, some stickers. So I put the names of everybody and what they got. And um, I included uh, the Christmas list in here. And that's me and my husband and my little one doing some uh, last-minute shopping. And that's a picture of him there. And I did a little journaling there. 
And on day 23, I took another picture of the Christmas tree. And this is a tuck spot back here of one of my uh, boys. He will write a Christmas list over and over and over again every time he changes his mind about what he wants. So I think there are about three or four lists in there just from him. Every time he changes something on the list, he rewrites the whole entire list. So this is a tuck spot here with my little toddler opening some gifts on Christmas Day. And I just wrote on the back that that, that, um, that was him on Christmas Day. And that's my husband and toddler. We went out on Christmas Eve. Um, still doing some last minute shopping. And that's day 24. And it wore them out. He was so, he was like, don't put that picture in there. But that's the two of them. They fell asleep on the sofa. Wore them out, honey. And this is a picture of my toddler. Now, my toddler does not uh, belong in a walker. <laughs> he can very much walk on his own. But he squares himself into this uh, stroller. And it was so funny. We had to take a picture of it. When he was young enough to be in there, he didn't want to be in there. And that's another picture of uh, some of the kids on Christmas uh, Day. And I did some journaling there. This is Christmas Day, which is my most festive spread, of course. This is a tag. I did some journaling on it. And I did a picture flip here. So that picture, me and my husband. That's my husband opening some gifts. My little one. And that's a picture of all the kids. That is not the greatest photo but um, I developed it and printed it out and put it in here anyway. Just some stickers and that's them, the Christmas tree, and just everybody um, all around. So, And that's another picture of them. And I stuck um, the word family there. Did some uh, stickers, day 25. And that's just all of them, opening gifts and things like that around the house. Day 26, uh, the day after Christmas, and that's my husband and youngest. They're relaxing in the den, watching some movies. And so I just wrote about that there, the blessings of home, and I did some little stickers. Day 27 um, is about rest, and I took a picture of my youngest in his crib um, taking a nap. And I just wrote about it, you know, how... Um, the seasons are so hectic and how we just need to take a moment and just relax. And those are some pictures that I put in here to fill some gaps. This is day 28. So as we near the end of the year, um, I just tried to snap a picture when I could. Most of these are either of myself, my husband, or my youngest. And I did um, a sticker down there with some trim. Um, this is a gap picture. I just filled an empty space, did some journaling on the back of this card, and that's my husband and my youngest. We were out shopping. Actually, I think this is on January 1st or January 2nd or something like that, but I just filled um, a gap. I didn't want this uh, blank page in there. This is day 29. I did some journaling on this card, and there's a picture I put back there. Did some journaling about um, being in a blended family and how sometimes it's not what you want it to be, but you just deal with it um, the way it is. So, blended families are hard, guys. And this is a page, um, I filled a gap, and I just stamped out some stars, and I talked about um, Jesus Christ and thanking God for having sent Jesus here as a child um, and as we celebrate Christmas Day and my thoughts and feelings about that. This is day 30. This is my toddler. He is inside a kitchen cabinet. I took a picture of that. I was doing some cleaning the last few days of the year. So um, that's um, him squeezed inside a cabinet that I cleaned out. I stamped uh, day 30 up there and this is a craft bag. I did some journaling on this tag and I slid it in here. Did some stamping on the bag, and I did some dots in um, silver marker, silver metallic marker. This is day 31, the last day of December, and I say goodbye 2018. And that's a picture of my little toddler with the biggest smile. And I did a gold ribbon down here, and I did some journaling, just about 2018 coming to an end. And just how we're looking forward to the new year. This is the back cover. I put the letter, uh, the letters that spell out peace there. And this is another 
big uh, snowflake sticker and this is a card on the back just like the front and I did a picture of me and my youngest son in the car and that's him saying cheese <laughs> he's so funny and I backed it with some um, some paper from one of my Christmas paper pads and um, in the end it just says embrace all the joys of the season happy holidays and again that's the back cover so I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through I know most people already have theirs up and posted but I wanted to do mine as well I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel if you're not a subscriber and you just happen to stumble upon this video please hit the subscribe button I would love to have you if you um, are not aware I have a second channel. It's linked below. It's a Bible journaling channel where I do Bible journaling and my Bibles and I talk about my faith. So if you're interested in that, you can join me over there and subscribe to that channel as well. So as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.